the new case is there are two bags A and B. Bag A contains three red and five white balls. That means total eight balls are there. Bag B contains four red and eight white balls. That means total twelve balls are there. A person randomly draws one ball from a bag. What is the probability that the ball is white? A person randomly draws a ball from a bag. What is the probability that the ball is white? To draw one ball, first of all, one bag has to be selected or one box has to be selected. We have to first draw or select a box and then we can draw a ball from it. So, the probability of being a white ball or selecting a white ball is dependent on the selection of bag, which bag is selected. That means this is the case of conditional probability of selecting a white ball. If it is selected from bag A or if it is selected from bag B. Let us use sign event A1 bag A is selected. Say A, not A1. And event B, bag or box B is selected. And C, a white ball is selected. There are two bags. Bag A, bag B. According to random selection, chances of selection of both the bags are same. 1 by 2, 1 by 2 or half or half or 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Now to calculate, we are going to use tabular approach. First, bag, then probability or precisely prior probability of selecting a bag that means P of A or P of B then conditional probability of drawing or selecting a white ball and last joint probability of bag and white ball. Bag A and B. Probability of selecting bag A is 1 by 2 because it is selected out of 2. Probability of selecting bag B is also 1 by 2 because it is also selected from 2 bags. Now conditional, why conditional? See in bag A there are 5 white balls and total 8 balls. In bag B there are 8 white balls and 12 total balls. That means selection of white ball is actually conditional event. If white ball is selected from bag A then probability is 5C1 divided by 8C1. So probability of white ball if it is selected from bag A then it is Favorable case is 5C1 divided by 8C1. This is case of combination. One white ball out of 5 can be selected in 5C1 ways and one ball out of 8 can be selected in 8C1 ways. So the probability comes to 5 by 8. Now, in case of selecting a ball from bag B, the selection or the probability of selecting white ball is that is probability of selecting a white ball if selected from bag B. Then favorable cases are 8C1 divided by 12C1. So probability comes to 8 by 12. Now any of these can happen and a white ball can be selected. So ultimately probability of selecting bag A 
and a white ball from it is similarly probability of selecting bag B and a white ball from it before calculating further just see if we want to calculate P of C given A what is the formula it is P of A intersection C divided by P of A now from this formula if we want to calculate P of A intersection C what should we do we have to use general law of multiplication of probabilities that is P of A into P of C given A equals to P of A intersection C yes P of A into P of C given A equals to P of A intersection C that means we are going to multiply these two probabilities and in simple word what is that probability so the probability of selection of bag A and a white ball from it so it is 1 by 2 into 5 by 8 that means 5 by 16 similarly probability of A into probability of sorry probability of B into probability of C given B will give us probability of B intersection C what is probability of B intersection C probability of selection of bag B and a white ball from it and that is 1 by 2 into 8 by 12 so it is 8 by 24 now a white ball can be selected in two mutually exclusive ways bag A and a white ball from it or bag B and a white ball from it ultimately a white ball can be there that means if we add this probability together the result is probability of C or probability of selecting a white ball that is P of C what is P of C let us take 48 as LCM 48 divided by 16 gives us 3 3 into 5 15 plus 48 divided by 24 2 2 into 8 16 so ultimately probability of C that is probability of a white ball comes to 31 divided by 40 later on we will use this tabular approach for the purpose of calculation of posterior probability or inverse probability or revised probability as per base rule